Okay. So this is my oyster bread maker that I've had for a very long time. So anyway, I'm going to make a basic cinnamon raisin bread recipe out of the recipe book that came with my machine. And uh, so basically, I'll open it up, pull out the loaf pan. So this makes up to two pounds of bread. Plug it in. And the setting is already on three hours. And I just follow the recipe. You can tweak it. Oh, I forgot the salt. <laughs> you pause it. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so we have in the order of the ingredients, follow it in the recipe, but normally it's from the liquid, then your dry, and your last that you add is the your yeast. So here's my warm water. And that was one and one fourth cup of water. Then I have two teaspoons of butter. No, excuse me, two tablespoons of butter that I add. And then one fourth cup of sugar. And the recipe actually calls for one and one half teaspoon of salt. I don't like to use that much salt, so I'm just using a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'll add my flour, which is three and one fourth cups of flour. And just go ahead and just knock it on in there. And I've pre-measured out everything so that way I can just go in order. And then I have one teaspoon of cinnamon that I add. And then my last ingredient to be added to the mixture is my, my yeast, which is two teaspoons of yeast. And I just make a, a little indentation or a well for my my yeast because you don't want your yeast to come in contact with any of your wet ingredients before it's time and I just go ahead and add that and then I'm done Sit on the side. put this up and then all I have to do is make sure before I stick my pan in my machine, I want it on medium crust and then I want it on sweet bread. So that's for me, that's number four. So I push it. So four. Now I'll go ahead and take my loaf pan and gently, and then I push it down, and then, so now I have my setting, and it's for two hours and 50 minutes, and I go ahead and just press start. And then as you can see, it automatically go ahead and starts mixing up everything. And then we'll come back and see what it looks like later. So as you can see, it's in the next process and all the flowers not mixed in it. So I just have to wait just a little bit. So, but what I can do is scrape it. At this point, I really don't need to because it hasn't finished being incorporated yet, but this is just an option you can do. And 
just be careful. You don't want none of the flower bits and stuff falling on the outside of the bread machine or the bread loaf pan.